So I had this absolute legend reach out to me on Empire Forums telling me how all the other trash videos on YouTube confusing all these people trying to get into OnlyFans management. He says, hey, what if you do like an OFM myth busting series where you go through all these fucking trash vids, point out why they're shit, and then it will help everyone. And so I've decided to do just that. Okay, so today we have this guy, the OnlyFans automation king. Now I see his videos pop up every now and then on the YouTube algorithm and I hear some people mention his course and how it's shit and I'm going to tell you why it is a load of garbage, right? So first, I'll show you this video that is right away on his channel. It's like the greeting video you see when you go to his channel. We'll watch that together and then let's go over why it is absolute rubbish. Major King coming at you again with another video. So just showing you the results for Bumble for one day. It was a grand total of $704 with a gross of 881 So if you guys want to buy my method Net total and gross. to sell on Snapchat. We don't so, have a lot of value to give. Just yeah, mention extra numbers days. that don't right. matter. Peace. Okay, cool. Looks cool enough, right? All right, so first of all, anyone that gives a monetary value that you will get from running dating apps is full of shit. Anyone that puts a blanket number on how much you can earn from dating apps is full of rubbish. There are so many variables involved, which is why a lot of people find out that it's too hard to do it. And so they find it might be a lot easier just to sling some course or some bot because it is fucking difficult. Dating apps are fucking difficult. Now, anyone that puts a blanket number on it, it's garbage because there are variables such as how many dating apps are you running? What is the funnel you're using? How long are the accounts lasting? Because if they're not lasting very long, then the matches aren't getting enough time to see the funnel and funnel through. So when you see these shitty courses like create a thousand dating apps a day, well, if they're only lasting a day, then 90% of the matches aren't seeing the funnel because the, the account, the dating app, is just getting created and then banned straight away. So half of the matches, what, they, they haven't finished work, they haven't finished going out, they just get home, they check the phone, and it's gone, it's banned. They don't get time to see it. That is one of the reasons why it's rubbish. Another one right out of the gate, and I'm going to have the same feedback for all of these channels that I go through is these people claim to sell a course about how to do OnlyFans management, right? They're implying that they have an agency themselves, they've done it, and that's why they know best. Now, my first bit of feedback right out of the gate, and I'm gonna have this for a lot of channels, I already know it, because I think this to myself all the time, is if you had an agency, wouldn't you put a link somewhere on the channel? You'd put a link somewhere on the channel, you would put it underneath all your videos, because what better source of generating model leads for your agency than getting the social proof from creating YouTube videos? If you're creating YouTube videos, getting hundreds or thousands of views daily, why will you not put a link to your agency to generate model leads? Now they might argue, yeah, but the agency's working at capacity, it's full. Okay, so why is not generating more model leads a good thing? why you can sell them. I, look, I don't recommend selling model leads, but there are just so many things you can do with it. You can have models there waiting, you can scale your agency even bigger. Like how is that resource not valuable enough to wanna to put a link in the description on your videos or on your channel? So there is that. Now, look, this video could actually go for ages, but I'm gonna try and keep it simple here. Um, another reason why creating all these dating apps is probably rubbish is because, look, here I saw a video here. It was like how to create a thousand accounts a day or something. Look, if you need to create a thousand accounts a day, then that means that your method is rubbish because if you have a method where your accounts can last a minimum of 30 days like they should be, then you don't need to create a thousand accounts a day because that is a fuckload of time and resources spent creating these accounts. Now that means that is probably implying that they're getting banned straight away, as I said earlier. Now I can tell they're gonna get banned straight away because in all of his 50 second videos, oh, okay, there's a seven, seven minute video, all right, all right, seven minute video. Um, he's always using a web browser. Now when you use a web browser, there are even more variables involved. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know I use iPhones. 
Now, when you use a web browser, there are so many things involved because when you create a dating app, it starts off with a trust score. Now, if you create a dating app from a phone, a mobile device, it automatically starts off with a higher trust score than usual than if you were creating one on a web browser. Now, if you're creating one on a web browser, it will automatically start off with a lower trust score. And then you've got to factor in proxy IP addresses. Now, that can make or break the whole thing. If you're using a proxy IP address that doesn't match up, that has a shitty fraud score, the geolocation doesn't match the geolocation of the web browser, there are so many things that go in that, then that can just kill the account right out of the gate. So that is how I know that this is absolute rubbish. I could go on to tell you more things, but I don't want to keep this video too long because viewer retention rate drops off. But if you cannot tell by the specificity that I'm using in this feedback, it is rubbish. Now, oh yeah, new course price, that's cool. Yeah, awesome. I see this floating around a lot. Now, I know, yes, dating apps are fucking hard and if someone says there's a bot, or I've got a course to make it easy, I can see why that is appealing and that's why I felt the need to do this OFM Myth Busters video because I want to warn you guys before you go blowing money on this seemingly like, thank God he solved dating apps for me. I wanna save you that, I sound a bit like the Joker then from, uh, from Batman, anyway. Um, <laughs> thank God. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, I just want to save you money because the temptation is real. I know when you're starting out, dating apps are fucking hard. They keep getting banned and you're wondering why, what's going on. Then you see this guy, hey, create a thousand accounts a day and I'll solve all your problems. I can see why that is tempting for a lot of people, but it is rubbish. Oh, here we go. How to make 500 a day. Oh, fuck yeah. 500 a day from his mum's bedroom. Nicely done. All right. Thousand accounts a day. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you can tell he's smashing it with only fans here. Look. 100k, he's doing 100k a month, fuck you, you can tell that room, you can tell in that room, just 100, he's making 100k a month, no doubt, why do you, like, why don't you believe it, why don't you believe it, why don't I believe it, this should be a video talking about how good it is, here we go, 700 a day, fuck yeah, so, anyway, I can't even remember all the things I spoke about, so it's hard to recap, but pretty much anyone that gives a blanket monetary value on how much you can make from dating, dating apps is rubbish, anyone that tries to sell you a course without an agency a link to their agency on the YouTube channel is full of rubbish. And then he's got like a million videos and all they are, they're just snippets showing him with like a screenshot of like OnlyFans results and then like showing some swiping going on. Second of all, as I said, this video could go on for ages, but I noticed in another video as well, he was showing like swiping on his, you know, whatever he's using. And it was just swiping, like he must have done a hundred swipes, just right, right, right. Now, if you know anything about dating apps, you will know they are very clever they pick up on repetitious behavior. And if you just keep swiping right without any left swipes in there, then that is another way it's gonna get banned. So as I said, I've gone for fucking days, but that is the first video in the OFM Mythbusters series. And we'll consider this whole channel myth busted. So I hope that helped. I wanna see some feedback. I wanna see what you guys think below. And if you guys like this, if you guys think these types of videos are helpful, then I will continue doing them. So let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you like the video, go smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.